Hello and welcome back to the channel and to the conversion of the Piper Cup to RC. So for this chapter what I intend to do is to mount the tail surfaces. I've already got here the, the horizontal stabilizer and uh, then I have to connect also the moving parts. So I've, I'm making holes. I'm going to be using fishing line. That's an idea from Cliff. And uh, I have to connect it to the push rod and then, uh, and then make sure that it has enough movement. So let's, not, let's not break it. Uh, it has enough movement and space there to move. So that's something also to do. And then also the tail fin, which is somewhere lying around here. So that's the tail fin and then also the rudder. And then it'll be pretty much like starting to do the completion. So I need to paint still the, the cowling. I will be doing that. I have to look at to see how I can put on the the windscreen so that it somehow looks good and there'll be some modifications needed as I have there some posts to hold in the wings and then gradually also to put on the, the full covering. I'll have to also glue the rods and things like that so there's a lot of small things that add up to hopefully an almost completed if not completed Piper Cup so follow me along on this one. So finally a little bit of progress on the, on the Piper Cup. Let me show you first of all the engine cowling there it is. I'm not sure if you've seen it already. It takes me so long to take updates for this, but there it is. I think it sits quite nicely. And what I've done, I've put on the the glass cockpit, the canopy, and uh, it's not the canopy, it's the glass. And what I've done actually, I've put it in three sections: one side, another side, and then also the curved part. You can't see it because it's transparent. And initially, I was thinking of doing it with super glue, right? But you know that I'm not a big friend of super glue so in then what I did I just made some little holes I punched some holes for the dowels that hold in the wing and then I put some very very tiny screws that I have and then if push comes to shoving any time then I'll be able to take it off so at the moment it's got some green marks I'm afraid that's where I was marking where to cut and uh, and for the holes and uh, it's not perfect it's a bit wavy on one side but uh, I think it's going to be okay then eventually I will cover this up also with tissue uh, so it's going to be it's going to be fine I think the only inconvenient part is this little bit at the top then if you can see it because this then has to somehow connect into the wing so I've got to figure out maybe I might put in there some screws and only when I put on the wing like screw it down or maybe just leave it like that not so beautiful but I'll see how I do that I'm thinking also that I might not, I might not need to take the wing off every single time. For transport, it's going to be awkward for sure, but maybe can stay with the wing on for for some time. So maybe it's not really needed. So maybe some two small screws in there that I can put take off if needed. And uh, and then that's a that's a progress so far. Uh, one more thing about the the paint. I was thinking of painting the the struts inside black. I did actually paint it with a pencil actually here just behind the the windshield or the front window but then I decided to go just with the natural wood I think on the picture on the box it's also like that and I think it also looks good with the natural wood it's not going to be too 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 big of a contrast as it's going to be then covered in, in yellow so so I think that that's okay then the next steps is going to be to I'm going to connect for example here I'll connect the the rod for the push rod there yeah, you can see it for the elevator and I'm thinking of putting it not too far out so that the movements are kind of reasonable and I need two hands to do this so I'll put it in there and then I need to fix also and I think I'm going to fix it onto this strut this little piece of tubing so that uh, so it actually has some leverage there also that it doesn't bend too much and that it guides it so, but before that then I have also to stick the wing so, sorry the the fin and the rudder so let's see how, how that goes and then I can do also the same thing to stick this on and I'm thinking maybe to hold it up once I have the right position maybe to put in some wooden bracing or something to make sure that it it stays put and that I don't need to rip the tissue apart if something goes wrong so those will be the next steps so fin, rudder, fixing the control lines the control rods and then starting actually with the tissue covering and getting closer and closer to the, phoenix, to the finished aeroplane Still the wheels to do and things like that to fix them somehow, but at least some progress, which is good. Let's see what comes next. Here I have a little bit more of the update. So as you might be able to see, I've connected the tail surfaces, so the elevator and the rudder. And I've also connected the rods 
into the servos and I've put in here let's see if you can see it a piece of wood that is still not fully dried but it's holding there these little tubes from a q-tip for the rods to move backwards and forwards and then it has more leverage than the it won't it won't bend the, the control rod won't bend and it'll have enough force um, I've got the hooks in place here but I think I probably still need to put something I don't know if you can see this a little focus I need to put something here at the end of the wires maybe a little ball of glue or something so that it doesn't fall off especially in mid-flight and especially the elevator probably uh, so so still a little bit to do there and now what I want to do I want to make sure that that the servos are getting the, the right input that I've wired everything up properly and I don't have to take it apart yet again so let's see how I put it that you can also see it if I put it up on its nose yeah you'll see it there so let me try now the rudder so this is right rudder something is wrong right right rudder left rudder left rudder right rudder so it's going backwards you see so this is right rudder which is actually going the other way around so I think I have to invert the channels there I hope I can do it on the machine I don't need to do anything mechanical and uh, then let's see the elevator up and down up and down so that seems to be working okay so just I need to check the channels and invert invert the, the rudder because it's going backwards but uh, at least it's starting to get together and I wanted to make sure that the servers are put in properly because it's very small in there as usual so difficult to fix things especially once the tissue is in so there'll still be a gap here for the wing right and still from under side, underneath for the battery hatch but with that with the tissue on it's going to be much more difficult and losing pieces inside the fuselage is probably much more probable so I hope it holds out and I'll probably reinforce the servers with a little bit of glue maybe from the underside to make sure that it's uh, that they are fixed and that they don't pop up when they shouldn't especially in the air so some progress and some movement which is encouraging time for another update so let me show you a couple of things that I've been up to so first thing that you can see is that I've changed the propeller I've put one, a, a smaller three bladed one it's the same as I put on the mosquitoes it was one of the recommendations on the comments and I think it's a good idea because it, it has much more clearance than the two bladed propeller right so there is a significant risk of a prop strike so with the three bladed propeller it should be reduced and hopefully the, um, the thrust it has is similar so hopefully I don't lose much strength there and then as to what's been going on so I've started to cover already the rear fuselage as you can maybe see I started with the bottom and then I'm doing the sides and I'm actually enjoying this one a little bit more I'm going just section by section because there is a temptation to use one big piece but then it's much more clumsy than to put on so I'm just going like frame by frame it's flat so it's overall I think relatively straightforward so so that's actually progressing quite well and I have managed to put actually this one I made a hole in it I measured where the hole was going to be and then threaded it through the, the control rod, the push rod so I'm actually quite happy that it's, it's there and I have tried it, it works so I still have to do the other side so I'll take this a similar approach what I did for that I took a, a ruler and then basically I move it along until I feel it touches so there it's at around 2.2 centimeters from the top and if I do it from the other side it's going to be really very close it's really very close so it's like I can measure it sorry that would be then from the from the bottom for example or from the top I could do it also and then try to measure exactly where that hole would go and then to put it in it's just tissue and the tissue is cheap so if I mess it up then I can always do it again and uh, so the process is going to be to cover up the, the rear fuselage and then do also the the front part I've also put some glue you can't see it because it's transparent it's another type of glue that I've glued in the the servo so they don't wobble around and my current concern is the landing gear I've put in some tubes and uh, sometimes they turn but sometimes they get somehow like stuck so I'm, I'm a bit worried about that because it's yeah they need to roll well right so now it's a bit stuck you see so 
So you got to somehow think up a way that it doesn't get stuck. Maybe the the rivet. I have to maybe shave down the the rivet somehow. I've also done some taxi practicing because it's and I'm thinking to maybe go out and do just taxi practice with uh, with the fuselage to see if I can keep it straight on the ground because if I can't keep it straight on the ground on the ground then my rudder control and thrust control is, is completely off so at least it's starting to move it's starting to look like what it has to and the fearful moment of a maiden is coming close so let's see let me do a bit more of the tissue covering and maybe fix up the wheels and uh, hopefully soon it will be complete and ready for the maiden crash hopefully not Maiden flight, let's hope. A bit more progress with the Piper Cup. So, what I've been doing, one thing that I didn't show you is that I did put in, let's see if you can see it, some pieces of wood here to prevent the tail wheel from just almost spinning around because they would tear the, the tissue and it looked very awkward. So, that's somehow fixed. I've, uh, I've covered it in tissue, there's a fuselage, and I've put already one layer of the uh, water and glue mix. Not completely, I think up to here I've done it, so I still need to do that and I might give them another layer. I won't use the clear lacquer on the fuselage as uh, it might have to mask off the, the windshield and things like that. So I may well do just two, two layers of the water and glue mix. I've also done the, the wheel struts and uh, I've also painted over with a spray can the wing struts, let's see if you can see them there. So just a, a thin layer. Um, and then what I've also done that I still need to figure out, I've managed to wear down this part of the of the rivet, of the pop rivet that's holding the wheel together because it was somehow hooking up. So I hope that, that now it's okay and now what I want to do, I want to use some plastic, maybe one of these plastic tops, cut out some circles and uh, in one way or another fix it so that the wheel is somehow stable on the axle, that it doesn't, that it doesn't move too much because they do move quite a lot and you see they, they do wobble so if I put I'm hoping that I can somehow keep them straight and in line so that's going to be the, the activity now and then I think when that is done and it's all water shrunk then I'll assemble it together and then it will be pretty much done so the end is in sight and finally here it is so I put the, all the pieces together I had assembled the, the wing and the struts and it was actually quite complicated. Not something that can be done out on the field I believe because I would probably lose some pieces and drop it and break it. But I have managed to put it together. I have even put some on the decals on, not all of them. As you can see I have put some on. Uh, there are still some stripes there but as I already assembled the wing then it's going to be much more complicated. Also the markings for the lower wing I'm, I'm going to skip at least for the time being. But I have put on some of the decals at least. The favorite one is this one, the Piper Cub at the, on the tail. So that's it for the build. So, so overall, I would say a bit of a complicated build. It's taken me a good part of four and a half, almost five months to build, which is quite a lot with a lot of changes, as you might remember from the series. And uh, what I have done, I've also done some taxi tests that I'll hopefully also show you. And uh, the next steps will be to actually trim it out and fly it, which is kind of the scary part. I still have to figure out the the, the center of gravity, which I do know the, the plan does say says it's it says it's 35 millimeters back from the leading edge, so I have to mark it somehow that I can measure it properly. And then uh, basically to do the taxi test out in the open, which is uh, going to be a very big challenge in itself. So we'll see how all that goes. But overall satisfied with the build, with the quality and hoping that it does actually fly. I do need one of these to fly. In any case, thank you very much everybody for watching and for all your tips and tricks. And uh, I hope I've listened enough to what you were saying. And uh, I hope this becomes a success. See you next time.